We are back in Arizona, getting ready to go chase some archery coos deer. We'll use coos because that's what the locals call them. When we say cows deer, which is the technical term, we get ridiculed. And then we're going to chase a few javelina. Uh, and our crew, it's me, Michael, we got Dale running a camera, and that's what I told Marcus. Marcus. When we go archery target shooting, Michael and Dale are our best target shooters. But Marcus, you are our best predator. He's a killer. So, I'm not gonna burden you with distractions of having to hunt quail and rabbits and small game. I'm not gonna burden you with distractions of having to entertain and be a host. Marcus? You have to go and get an arrow in a coos buck. That's all you have to do for the next seven days. Nothing else. You don't have to run a camera. I'll take care of all the other interference. That's what we're here to do. So... Randy's going to give you the lowdown of most everything that's happening today, but we're splitting up. And this is my first day of actually bow hunting for coos deer uh, exclusively. I had to tag in the past when we were javelina hunting, but Randy, Kurt, and Michael are heading that way. And then myself, Dale, and Jim are going to head up this way and go get on a knob and try to get some good morning light and hopefully turn up some deer. Made it up to a sweet glassing spot. I'm sure we blew a bunch of deer out on the way here. I mean, very, very likely, but to me it's worth it just to get up to something like this because we can see, we can see the main source of water, like pretty much the whole view of it, which is sweet. And then the view shed is just crazy. We got 360 degree views, so no matter what the light's doing, we got glassable terrain. The rut should be kicking in. Got a good feeling. Yeah, there's the two on the knob, and then there's two on this lower bench. Drove out here to one of our favorite glassing spots. And gonna wait for the sun to come up and light up all this country. Finding these little buggers is a glassing game. So, you're gonna see me plop my butt down on a great big smooth rock, glass, take a nap, glass, take a nap, and hopefully find a buck to go after. Any buck is fair game, from a little dick dick all the way to a four by four. I'm, I've never seen a coos buck yet with my bow that wasn't worthy of a pursuit. Then we got our buddy Kurt Howard from Rocky Mountain hunting calls here. The tag says any antler deer. Any antler deer we consider fair game. I'm gonna follow your lead. <laughs> <laughs> and javelina, I don't know that there's a measurement criteria for javelina. It's just you see a big pod of them moving around, you just go sneak in there and shoot yeah, one. That was getting me excited. Okay. No, whatever we see, you get first crack. So. And if you say you don't want to go, well, I'll go. Fair enough. <clears throat> but stay tuned, folks. Six days of coos deer and javelina hunt. More fun than usually can be had in six days. I hope Marcus is doing better than I am. I've seen in all of this, I've seen uh, three deer and two javelina. And I thought there'd be a whole group of javelina. They disappeared into the trees down here, but I can't relocate them now. And uh, Kurt's back that way, glass, and Marcus is over there about, I don't know, three miles, four miles. Uh, so hopefully they're 
seeing a little more than we are. Oh. We got a dick dick. Yeah, he's tiny little spiker. There's three deer running down below us, and it's uh, a doe fawn and then a little two-point buck, which I'd happily shoot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, I mean, not a monster, but definitely cool. The one on the right's definitely bigger. All right, guys, what are you going to do? He'd probably been, like, right here the whole time, huh? One of these little pockets. If we can bed him, that'd be great. All right, so we watched them, and they've been on their feet pretty much, yeah, the whole time. We never saw them bed. They've been on their feet for, I don't know, two hours maybe? Yep, two hours. Just slowly working past the water down there, and uh, the one bedded visible to us right now in a pretty good stockable position so we're gonna make a play jim's gonna be our uh point man he's gonna stay up here and give us hand signals or give us the signal that everything's over if they run away so we're gonna sneak down this draw and then hopefully be out of sight when we get low enough to then circle around and get above them. Jim gave us the signal that the buck moved, so that sucks. Our odds just got way, way worse, because now we don't know where he is. But uh, we're gonna keep going over there and at least get kinda in their zone and hang out and see if anything walks by or see if we can, I'm just gonna slowly creep in there. Just keep an eye out, look for whatever. There's water down there, so there's gonna be animals moving around. Well, two Havelina disappeared up that draw somewhere. There's probably more. There's a buck, little buck, <laughs> and a doe here another little buck and a doe and another doe there's five deer over here but i don't know gotta wait till they bed so i'm gonna go walk over kurt's just over there i'm gonna walk over and see what he has seen saw five deer and two javelina what why have I seen nothing? Let's drive up to that spot, walk out that trail, and see if we can pick apart where those deer might be. Okay. You see him there? Down and left. Yeah, I come out of that big thicker patch of trees and still going down. One great big male up high. Well, I think that's the only one I can see. And then down low, there's four more. Five more. Oh, okay. Yep, I got a couple of them now. I think if you got around over there and came up where that weird looking rock is. You came, I mean, you don't have to go that far, depending on what the wind, I think the wind will be going uphill because the sun's hitting it. So if you got up on the backside of that ridge, you could drop down, and when you drop down, then you got way more shooting lanes, and I think you'd have the wind at your favor. This is good. This is, usually it takes us three or four days to find a herd of pigs. We'll go get them, Kurt. I'll be over here doing the... Saturday night fever hand signal. Got you. You'll be a BG. Got got my red bag. Yeah, I'll be like John revolting. There you go. All right, 
well, I'll try to make sense of what you're going to tell me. But the, the young people don't even know that John Travolta was called John Revolting in our time. <laughs> no, they don't know that. No. no, no. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right, well, I'm going to go try to find that javelina while you do the hustle. I don't know if they can see him. I think they got a bum win because there's probably eight of those javelina. They just got up out of their beds and started not running, but just moving off to their right. There's two right in front of you. About 80 yards. Okay, I see him, I see him. Um, this is a bad place to call him into. through this little draw and up that steep rocky canyon face there and meet back up with Randy and see what the plan is for this afternoon. Gosh, we're hiking out of here just to peel out of here after we ate a sandwich and come over the edge of the hill and this, this little creek down here had three 
three or four have a lead in it, so I guess we're back in the game here for a minute. I shot it for like 25, that's probably, dang, probably 30. Yeah, it's 30. I shot it for 25. Gosh, that was crazy. He come boiling out from underneath our feet. <laughs> Man, I tell you, that's fun. Not much of a shot apparently, but, oh. I guess I got an arrow to go find. But... Rocks are pretty hard on your stuff. Oh, <laughs> I won't be shooting that arrow again. Nope. But it's clean. I didn't get him. So I guess if you're going to not get one when you shoot, that's the way to do it. Miss them clean so you don't have to fool with it. So, ah, well, that wasn't very, very enjoyable. Other than the fact that I didn't hit it. But <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Oh, live to, he'll live another day and so do I. You shot at one. I shot at one. And not, not, and not where you think. Really? <laughs> On the way back. There's a rock ledge. Haveline is under, <laughs> over in the grass. I look back at Michael and I'm like, I think we'll go up. I'd be above him. And I no more took a step and <laughs> right after under our feet one went. So then we run up on the hill and then they're all alerted. Yeah. But one comes out and stops broadside and the rock's across the ditch. I'm full draw, look back, he's got it. I'm thinking 25 yards, let her go. Skipped it right under, it was 30. Oh. Misjudged it. And I didn't have any time for range fire. They were already keyed up. I yeah. was either just guess her and see what happens. And huh. I zipped one right underneath it and oh, blew an arrow to pieces. <laughs> then I went to calling and squalling and carrying on. But at that point they weren't yeah. coming back or hanging around. But. There's a deer. Coming down through the shade. Coming towards us. I think that, that is a different buck. He's bigger. We haven't seen him yet. Is this a doe? Yep. There's a lot of deer around. We, uh, that one buck that came running down through the bottom, I think he knew something was weird. I don't know if he was spooked from us. We had the wind, but he might have seen us. But anyway, we had like about 100 yards of open to cover to get out of sight of him. We're like, let's see if we can do it. We made it about 10 yards. He was 330 yards away. I figured, I figured we'd make it like 50. I didn't know, I didn't think we would make it, but I thought we'd make it more than 10. He's just gone. And spooked another one out too. Doe. Oh, these things are tricky. But that's what makes it fun. They're just like, it's a challenge. It's like, it'll definitely be rewarding to get one with a bow. Look at that, Kurt. I haven't even taken my bow out of the case and I'm down an arrow. How'd that happen? I don't know. TSA needed an arrow. Really? <laughs> joke and I have no idea what happened to it. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and 
You say that there's a javelina or two around here. With all the rooting and all kinds of holes being dug right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Are you ready? Javelina tracks everywhere. I mean, like crazy numbers of them. We walked up here about mm -hmm. 500 yards from the truck and we started glassing and there's eight javelina right out there about a half mile away. So we're going to get to that little knob, be downwind of them, cut this way, and Kurt's going to go thump, and then he's getting out of his call, and I'm going to walk up there and thump, and there's a road right at the base of that knob. fun we saw so what i had a count we confirmed 37 no six bucks 37 deer total with there's potential for more though we weren't sure because it mm -hmm. got a little hairy there when there's stuff going on but, <laughs> so we didn't get a deer today but i'm sure randy's like probably within 30 yards of one right now just waiting to he's draw already got waiting. Gilded. he's already got it gilded. he's back at the house drinking beer smoking cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> like he always does. That's what that's, yeah, that's all he does. You lost me seven months ago. 
Okay. Some forks, some spoons. People can make up their own mind what they want to <laughs> eat. Ooh, what do we got here, Jonathan? So that's the chashu style javelina. Oh, that's how you do it. Gotcha. So it has to be slow braised, then refrigerated, then cut, then reheated, and then put into the ramen. Wow. So we'll get the first tea actually set up here. Look at you. This guy, I tell you what, folks, Jonathan O'Dell, there is nobody who I get any more pleasure out of eating the, their work product than him. And he's always got something cool. I mean, he doesn't believe in just run of the mill. You can tell he's not from northern Minnesota. <laughs> One day we'll make hot pot for you, or, uh, or hot dish for you. Yeah, hot dish. Something with three mushroom soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my family, if they get rid of cream and mushroom soup, my family is probably going to have to quit eating. Developing a little color. Mm -hmm. mm. Like I said, it was already slow braised. Mm. This is it, so now we're getting some extra color on it. For anyone who's wondering, if you came to this camp, you either had a negative COVID test before you got here, or you had a positive antibody test, like I do, or you got vaccinated, and none of nobody here was high enough on the list to get a vaccination. So um, we're taking all the all the precautions we can. So and Jonathan's even going the extra step; he's all masked up, even though we're outside here. Oh, look at that! What, what is that kind of? I've never seen one of these Those operations. Are ramen baskets. A, a what? Ramen baskets. A ramen basket. I'm, I'm feel like such a downstreamer when I'm around this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, every time he's got to whip out some trick stuff here. And every trip. How are you doing, guys? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Really? Nice How to see was your trip down? It was good. good. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. long as it was last year, but yeah, but pleasant. Hasn't gotten any shorter. No, it no. didn't. No, the same. Yeah. Nope. Well, we went slept out to in your ditch, Havelina Slept in the ditch outside a hatch. And What's that? Slept, slept in the, in the ditch, ditch outside a hatch. Well, in the van slept in the ditch. In the no. van in the ditch. Yeah, there's just a bunch of BLM up there, so we just pulled up a wash. Oh, and pulled okay. Her in. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it was pretty good. Huh. We woke up too early to get any chilies on the way through hatch, but. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, maybe on the way home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a must. Yeah, for maybe. sure. Well, do, you, do I get to try the yeah, first yeah. bat? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Mr. Odell. I wonder, do I want to eat it with a fork or a spoon? Spoon. Spoon? If I don't spill this, it'll be a macro. Yeah, how'd you, someone send you pictures of Quaddy or something? Well, Michael went live and they were running around. <laughs> <laughs> No What's wonder up, we can't. I asked him, did you get footage of this? He's like, uh, I don't know what I got footage of. But he's too busy, too busy doing all of his stuff. <laughs>